Social Union. This is completely new topic and it is very important for our examination point of view. Under European Union, you will uh, give emphasis on the following aspect, EU. Facets from where question may be asked in the examination. One, evolution of European Union. Evolution of U European Union or say, what is EU? U uh, evolution of European Union or simply what is EU? This is the first phase. Second phase it India and EU. Third phase it India, EU, free. Trade negotiation. Free trade negotiation. And uh, out of these uh, three topics, this is the most important for our examination point of view. This is the most important phase India and uh, negotiation dialogue whatever going on between India and European Union regarding free trade agreement. Okay. Now point to be noted say if you look into all the global organizations, global economic uh, organizations say SARP, South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, ASEAN, Association of Southeast Asian Nation, Mercosur, that is uh, economic organization of Latin American countries, African Union, OPEC, APEC, Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation, and European Union. Then European Union is considered as the most successful economic organization. And uh, uh, SARC, South Asia, of which India is also one of the members, is considered as the most unsuccessful organize, economic organization of this world. Why? For your kind information, mutual trade and commerce among the European countries is about 69% uh, of their global trade. But in case of in case of SARC, mutual trade amongst the member of member of SARC country is hardly four to five percent. This is the one reason. Please don't write. I will dictate you each and everything. But uh, simply try to understand. I will dictate you everything. Then now question arises. Compare between SARC and European Union. You know, European Union, members of European con uh, Union countries were warmongering. They were responsible for the First World War. They were responsible for the Second World War. Right. Second World War. And uh, at the same time, they fought 100 years war, 30 year war, 30 year war. Even then, they came together to form European Union. Okay. They came together to form European Union, and European Union is considered as uh, the most successful economic organization of this world. Why? This is a question. And uh, for your kind information, 
regarding us uh, regarding sar all the countries of sar uh, except uh, say except uh, sri lanka was once upon a time during the historical period was uh, an integral part of india the south asian country eight countries say nepal and at the same time we are culturally linguistically religiously attached with each other say for an instance india and nepal more than 95% population of nepal is follower of hinduism right and uh, tara and uh, the tarai region of nepal is uh, overwhelmingly populated by people of india right we have matrimonial relation with the people of nepal say we have already heard about the great uh, epic the mahabharata in which uh, we have a story of uh, pandavas they lived one year in nepal you know and uh, the ramayana and mahabharat and vedas are more popular in nepal than in india then similarly in the context of mal uh, in the context of bhutan bhutan is a buddhist country during uh, british period bhutan was protected state of india even today bhutan is large extent protected state of india protected state of india means in case of attack on bhutan it will be considered as attack on india they uh, this was the main region that uh, we fought against we were about to fought against uh, uh, fought against uh, china in the doklam sector doklam is situated at the tri, tri junction between india china and bhutan and bhutan is follower of buddhism and buddhism originated from india so we are culturally linked with bhutan more than 90% of trade and commerce of bhutan is linked with india now come to sri lanka more than 80% population of sri lanka is follower of uh, buddhism they are singhalis and follower of buddhism and they call their ancestors were north indian aryan right 80% 14% population of sri lanka is follower of hinduism tamils they call their ancestors were south indian dravidian and they used to speak in tamils so here we are culturally linguistically religiously linked with each other now recall about the a story of the ramayan about Ra ram ravan war in this uh, sense in this way we are culturally linked with each other similarly say pakistan pakistan if you speak in hindi then uh, nobody can identify you in pakistan whether you are from india or from pakistan right then you will be quite comfortable there they speak in hindi and punjabi right punjabi then uh, according to professor balveer punj none of the two countries of the world is as similar as india and pakistan right in every sense like uh, in our street we play gulli danda they are also playing gulli danda right 
we are playing uh, Luca Chopi hide and seek that is also popular there. We used to play Langri Tang and that is also popular in Pakistan. Cricket is as popular in India as in Pakistan. Now come to Bangladesh. National anthem of Bangla Bangladesh is Amar Sunar Bangla, composed by Ravindranath Tagore. That is the national anthem of Bangladesh. And uh, we speak so, uh, and uh, bang, uh, we speak Bengali. Right? We have two Bengali in our classroom. One is uh, Didi. Oh, are you Bengali or Bangladeshi, Didi? Nisha, are you Bangladeshi or Bengali? Bengali. I think you are Bangladeshi. Can you identify whether she is from uh, Bengal or Bangladesh? or any other part of India, because she looks like similar to us, am I right or wrong? And another Bangladeshi is Rohit okay. and uh, he also looks like us, okay. he is quite comfortable in Bengali as well. So here again, again uh, we have identity, identicals similar language, culture and uh, Ravindra Sangeet. Ravindra Sangeet is as popular in India as in Bangladesh. Right. See the identity. So, and similarly in Afghanistan, before inception of Islam, before 7th century, Afghanistan was ruled by Hindu Sahi ruler. After inception of Islam, beginning of Islam, Hindu Sahih ruler was overthrown, then Islamic culture established there. Okay. And uh, for your kind information, the famous Takshila Gurukul, headed by Acharya Chanakya, was around the border of Afghanistan and modern Afghanistan and Pakistan. You have already heard about the tallest statue of Lord Buddha, Bamiyan Buddhist statue that was located in Afghanistan, right? located in Afghanistan. Similarly, you know about Gandhari and the two famous Mama in our history. One is Shakuni Mama, right? Shakuni Mama and another one is Kans Mama. And what type of mama you have? Yes, I have given you two options. One is Shakuni mama, and another one is Kans mama. Have you heard about the uh, name of the two mama? Have you heard? Have you heard name of the two mama? Kans mama and Shakuni mama. And Shakuni mama was from Gandhar one. Name of uh, his sister was Gandhari, wife of Dhrit, uh, Dhritrast and mother of Yudhishthir, right? Duryodhan, sorry, mother of Duryodhan. She was from Afghanistan only, Gandhar, even today Kandhar, he named after the same Gandhar. Have you heard about uh, Chandragupta Maurya, founder of Maurya, Mauryan dynasty? And first of all, he was coronated in Afghanistan only, in Kandahar only. Okay. He defeated Seleucus, Seleucus, uh, the military general of Alexander the Great, okay. and he overthrew the great empire of India led by Ghananam. Okay. So, see. All these countries are member of SAR. Right. All these countries are member of SAR. We are culturally, religiously, linguistically, emotionally interlinked with each other. 
even then we failed to develop cordial deletion failed to develop cordial deletion uh, among the member of shark and shark is considered as the most unsuccessful economic organization of this world why i want uh, opinion from all students who our region behind this right this is one and as i told you european nations fought against each other they fought 100 years war they were responsible for the first world war they were responsible for the second world war and even today war is going uh, between the european countries say ukraine and russia war okay. am i right war is going on then my question is how did they become one they established european union they have common currency euro right common currency euro they have uh, mutual trade uh, about 69% of their 67 to 69% of their global trade mutual trade bilateral trade how did this happen you know the first factor after uh, the second world war before the second world war european countries were powerful right the united kingdom was powerful and uh, it was said that sun never set in the british empire sun never set in the british empire britain was so powerful it had the largest chunk of colony and followed by france another great power by france okay. another great power by france clear getting my point and they fought against each other so many times but after the second world war their power declined after after uh, after the second world war all the colonies got independence like india got independence after the second world war india myanmar sri lanka maldives they all got independence after the second world war getting my point they uh, they got independence getting my point then uh, after second world war and they did not remain powerful and that led to interference of the usa and ussr in the european affairs okay interference of the usa because two superpower emerged after the second world war and that led to cold war you know it very well and we will discuss in detail then uh, two super power emerged usa used to intervene in the affairs of western european countries and ussr used to intervene in the eastern european countries right like lithuania latvia estonia uh, estonia hungary poland holland east germany after the second world war germany was divided into two parts federal republic of germany was called west germany and german democratic republic that was east germany into two parts into two parts and uh, they realized if we are disunited then interference of the superpowers will increase in their internal affairs therefore first of all they form european coal and steel union then uh, they formed european atomic union 
then by the Maastricht Treaty of 1993, they formed European Union. Before that, they formed European Common uh, European Market and uh, development of Common European Market was the European Union. Then they adopted Euro single currency for the whole European countries. Right? Did you fear from the superpower? Good sense prevail. Though they fought so many wars, they united together. But we fail to unite. What, what's the reason now? How dynamic, how dynamic they are to change according to the changing scenario and circumstances. They were intellectual, they were intellectual, they were dynamic. During uh, even before the Second World War, this was the reason they colonized us. Right? They colonized our ancestors. They were superior in certain respect. Look into yourself. Look into ourselves that what went wrong that India, a great country, ancient civilization, we had Magadha Empire, Maurya Empire, Gupta Empire, what went wrong that a tiny European country, tiny Britain, European country colonized India? This is also a question. Right? Tiny European country colonized us. What went wrong? Right? Today, if all the people of India once land on the United Kingdom, most probably it will sink in the ocean. United Kingdom uh, is an island. If 142 crore people of India will go to the United Kingdom, then the United Kingdom may sink in the ocean. But that fistful people of the United Kingdom colonized us and used to call our ancestors as black Indian, bastard Indian. How did this black Indian dare to sit in front of us? They used to say like this. And we were great civilization. Then there was something wrong with us. What are we wrong? Even today, something wrong with us that we fail to unite, we fail to form the Sarkir. Still today, we have the feudal mindset. We are divided on the basis of casteism. We are divided on the basis of communalism. Right? We are going, one side we are going, we are landing on the moon and another side, like just day before yesterday, one uh, Jha of RJD, certain Jha, I forgot them, he wanted to divide Brahmana and Kshatriya. Like, he had given uh, such a speech in Parliament caste politics. See. Lalu Yadav say, I am son of my emperor, Muslim, wife of Yadav, caste equation. Thereby, he ruled over Bihar for 15 years. Right. And Nidhis Kumar played the caste politics and he conducted caste-based census. Similarly, we are talking about reservation, reservation, reservation. We should be given reservation on the ground of caste, on the ground of sub-caste. Okay. And these politicians are dividing us on the basis of caste and sub-caste. And similarly, in case of BJP, BJP is polarizing Hindu and Muslim community and creating gulf creating bridge, gulf between the two, am I right? So all the political parties of India, not a new politics of Bageshwar Baba, 
new politics of OBC after implementation of uh, uh, women reservation bill in the parliament. Now, the opposition parties are talking about there is no reservation for OBC women. OBC women should be given reservation. Are you getting my point? So even today, we are talking like this. We have the similar politics in Pakistan. Shia, Sunni, Ahmadiyya, they are fighting against each other. People of Baluchistan wants independence. People of uh, Pakhtunistan, northwest frontier province of Pakistan, wants independence. Sindh wants independence under leadership of Altaf Hussein. And uh, Gilgit Waltistan wants independence. This type of politics is also prevailing in more all the countries of South Asia. This is the reason we are inferior. This is the reason we are inferior. Even today we are talking in terms of casteism and communalism. We are divided on this ground. So as a civil service as a aspirant, you should be ever have this type of feeling. Are you getting my point? Otherwise you are not going to qualify the exam. Because India is led by the ISIPS people. They are mentor, they are guide of the politicians that what to do, how to do, when to do, what type of speech should be given on the international platform. And UPS is very secular and neutral organization. Very secular and neutral organization. And uh, if you have this type of feeling, like casteism, communalism, regionalism, if you are Bihari, Bengali, Marathi, Gujarati, Punjabi, then definitely you are not going to qualify the examination. If you are Hindu, Muslim, Christians, if you have this type of feeling, then definitely you will not qualify the examination. Usually, say, so far, I taught more than 1,000 students from Northeast India, Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, Arunachal Pradesh. And in the, uh, in the beginning, whenever I interact with the students of Northeast India, my, not only Northeast India, but uh, from all the students, I ask them question, why do you want to be an IS? This is my first question. And most of the students of Northeast India answered my question like this, that I want to do something for my own people. I want to do something for my own people. Ning, am I right? Am I right? They, want, uh, they answered me in this way, I want to do something for my own people. Then my counter question is, don't you think me your own people? Don't you think me your own people? I am not foreigner, I am also an Indian. Uh, you will not be posted. Most probably you may not be posted in uh, Northeast India. You may not be posted in Arunachal Pradesh. You may not be posted in uh, Manipur. You can be posted anywhere in the country. Then you should consider all the people as your own people. If you have this type of feeling, then definitely you are not going to qualify the civil service examination. So, if you have the narrow feeling, narrow sentiment, be you have the feeling of casteism, communalism, regionalism, linguism, ethnism, ethnicism, etc. And they, European country, European country emerged above this type of feeling. Therefore, they are powerful even today. They are united. Per capita income of the European country is much more than the people of India. Therefore, they are powerful. Still, you 
caste vote in the election with caste in communal consideration. So, you are casteist, you are divided. Kala Angrej like uh, Lalu Yadav, Mulayam Singh Yadav, Nitish Kumar, Nitish Kumar, Ram Bilas Paswan, Narendra Modi, M. K. Stalin, Ashok Gailod, Sivraj Singh Chauhan, I call them Kala Angrej. These uh, Kala Angrej are dividing us. on the basis of casteism and communalism. Okay. So, be above this, only then you may catch the European country. They, uh, they ride above this type of feeling, narrow feeling. Therefore, they were powerful. First of all, concept of modern nationalism emerged in the European country more concept of modern nationalism like uh, today we feel proud to say that we are an Indian. Am I right or wrong? Or do you feel proud to say yourself as uh, are you from Uttarakhand? Uttar. Do you feel proud to say that I hail from Uttar Pradesh or you feel proud to say that I am an Indian? Indian. We feel proud. So, this type of feeling, same case is applicable with me too, with all of you in the classroom as well. So, this uh, feeling of nationalism, feeling of togetherness, feeling of oneness, first of all emerged in the European country and that united them and we were disunited. We were disunited. Therefore, they enslaved us. This is the reason they formed the European Union, most successful economic and political organization. And we failed. Though we have identical culture, geographical identical geography, culture, language, religion, etc but we failed to establish SARP union due to the same outdated moribund culture whatever prevailing in our country. Okay. In this context, let us start European Union. 